Yo, what is up, everybody? Today, we are going to take a look at the offensive line play. That's not really exactly what you do when you play Madden, but one of the big things about Madden 25 is this is the year of the offensive line. It's the year of the running game. And part of the running game is that offensive line. Are they going to block properly? Are they going to be aware of players coming left and right at them? So, we're going to look at a bunch of examples from this game from the Man 25 demo. First, we're looking at the right tackle number 68 here. On this play, look at the 68 guard. He doesn't get anybody, but the way he pulled is promising. Because, I mean, he wasn't supposed to do that, but like it's like the AI realized it wasn't blocking anybody on that right side and automatically pulled to the left side. Though they missed number 29, it's still a positive play. Now here we're going to watch the right guard, and we're also going to watch 67. I mean, the right guard is like kind of a minimal thing. We're more watching um, Sam Shields there and the way he blows his coverage. I threw it into coverage with Percy Harvin, and somehow Sam Shields didn't react. So that's not the really offensive line, but you see that guy was pulling, so at least the offensive line is pulling. That's an improvement from man 13. Offensive line would just stay in there, man 13. Now we're watching the center. You see the center doesn't pick up anybody, and that's kind of one thing that's kind of weird. As I feel like there's a player lock that even though he had a guy, you see 60 had a guy to pick up right there. He didn't block that guy. I don't think he was trying to hunt down the guy that was tackling Marshawn Lynch. So I don't know if there's a player lock or what. But anyways, now this play, not anything too special. Just look at the way they're blocking upfield. You see 68 taking off, 77 takes off upfield. So that's some good blocking on the third down. Because usually in Madden 13, it would take forever to go uphill. Now here you're watching the center, and the center doesn't really block anybody on this play. One thing, he stands too far uh, up close or whatever, and like he doesn't get a proper angle to block that Packers player, and the Packers player comes free. I like, do get it off beforehand. Anyways, now this play, we're watching the right tackle and Percy Harvin. The right tackle like just misses everybody. Percy Harvin is like not really the greatest blocking wide receiver out there, but in this game, I feel like the wide receivers block way better than they do in Madden 13. I feel like they... Get more pancake box and stuff like that. Now here we're watching the right tackle 68 again. You see 68 take off upfield into the second level, but he misses that one guy and causes me to get tackled. Just wide open, 38 had a chance to get me because 68 went upfield into the second level instead of getting Tremont Williams. Now here we're watching that um right guard. Look at Russell Wilson doing dance moves out here. We're gonna slow down once again. Look at the right guard. Look at that block he makes. That's something that definitely never happened in Man 13. The way he died to make an effort, I like that. I like the way the offensive line. Played like that now here you just see the offensive line bunching up look at percy harvin just pancaking people out here though he did miss somebody and um that's one thing wide receivers can be vulnerable to in real life as well as in madden you see he just completely misses that guy and the offensive line kind of got all screwy there now here i don't know what number the center is i didn't really care to find out we're watching number 71 mainly look at 71 come back here you're going to see 71, he's standing there, and at the last second when somebody breaks away from the left tackle, the left guard comes flying in to pick him up, so that's good. The way he just like came out of nowhere to pick that guy up. Now here we're watching 71 and 74. Um, I think 71 just kind of stands there. 74, you see how 74 is more backed up? That's what 71 should be doing, but 71 kind of just stands there. And this is just a random thing. I don't know why the AI was trying to do a 65-yard field goal, but... I mean, that's, that would be a new NFL record. I don't know why I didn't just go for the Hail Mary, but that's what they did. Now, back to offensive line player. Watching the right tackle and the left guard here. The left guard doesn't really pick anybody up, but the right tackle is able to get into the second level and pick up somebody. So, that's a good sign. And... Yeah, that's basically it for that play. Now, moving on, we're going to watch Russell Wilson. The right tackle is kind of minimal. We're going to watch Russell Wilson, the quarterback. The right tackle gets into the second level and pancakes somebody. But look at the quarterback blocking downfield. And this happened a couple of times. You see Russell Wilson running upfield immediately to try to pick up a block. And he actually just blocked that guy pretty good, even though Lynch is in the process of being tackled while he's making that block. So... It looks like you're going to be getting some help from your quarterback on um, option plays. Now here, you see I'm trying to run a play here. I throw it deep, and I'm kind of more interested in the interception because look at me trying to sky. But anyways, look at um, 77. You see the way 77 is like roaming around like a free safety? That's pretty cool. Instead of just holding his stance, he was roaming around there. That's good. But look, I like this like animation here. I tried to sky up for that one, but Sam Shields made the interception. That was kind of cool to watch. And now we're going to watch Eddie Lacy. Now this isn't really anything about the O-line. This is pretty typical in real life and in Madden for a running back to miss a block. And you see Lacy, um, Earl Thomas was supposed to be his protection. He just straight up missed him. He was out there blocking and just missed him. Now we're going to watch the right guard. You see the way the right guard 67 pulled over. I don't think he really picked up anybody, but the fact that he did pull over to try to pick up the blitz that was coming on the left side, as well as Marshawn Lynch, that's pretty good. That shows good awareness. Now here, um, 
This is some not so great plays. You see, they're double teaming like four guys are blocking two people. That's not good. I get up to the second level. One of you guys get up to the second level. No one really did that in that play. And then here again. I noticed that happened more on option plays than normal running plays. That was back to back option plays I ran and back to back times. There were just some random double teaming. So that was kind of weird. And here, this is a quarterback draw. And I actually like the way the quarterback draw works in this game. You see the running back also blocks. I hit the wrong hole. If I hit the right side, I might have had a touchdown. But I hit the wrong hole. I still got the first down though. But I like the way they sprint upfield immediately instead of just standing in their stance. And man 13, they were never move anywhere. But in this game, they're taking off downfield. So that's good. And um, here you see on the Packers D-line, I tried to run around the right side with me being. And 70 just kind of picked me up and saw me. And I did end up getting pressure to force Aaron Rodgers to throw an interception. But the main thing we're watching here is the way 70 did swoop around. I tried to make a little cheesy move there. He did swoop around and pick me up. So that's good. Though that does happen to Man 13 too. So that's not really like a big thing that happened. Now here we're watching the left guard 71. You see the way 71 is pulling over to pick up a block. 71 had nowhere to block. So once again he did like a free safety thing like that other guy did in the Seahawks. And eventually he picks up somebody. And um, usually the AI is better at picking up blocks in their own line than... The user is with their own line. But um, this play doesn't really have to do anything with the own line. But look at this. I flip over McDaniel. And even though I just picked up and I was probably going to go get a touchdown. And I don't think Aaron Rodgers stuck his hand up to touch me. They said the guy was down. I don't know. I, I think he should have went in for a touchdown. But here, watch Russell Okun, number 76. The way he pulls across there. That's just absolutely perfect. I made the wrong read there. I probably should have handed it off to Marshawn Lynch. But... That was still a really good play by the left tackle to swing across and pick up somebody. And here he does it again on a two-point conversion attempt. He's the left tackle, and here he is swinging across. That's not his block, his main block. He's just supposed to pick up whoever's open, but he ended up finding the open guy there. So a great play. Of course, Okong is one of the best O-line players, so he has a high awareness and stuff. And maybe like some of the other offensive linemen might not have like great awareness, but overall, I think... Even though it is the demo, it, there's only so much going to be different about O-line play from the demo to Man 25. And what we're seeing so far, I think it's positive. I think it's a big step up for Man 13. So, kudos to EA Sports for making these changes. And hopefully we have some great offensive line play in Man 25.